So here's a quick unedited video just to show some items that I made here out of 3D printing. Printed some items and printed other items press into them. But what these are for is I usually use these type of tape measures. And a lot of my work I have to, you know, measure off 10, 16, 20 feet or whatever on items that are already there. And sometimes, you know, you know I'm hanging their metal structures and I'm trying to get the items and the tapes to stick on here and, and such and you know it's kind of frustrating when you climb through all these pipes and you have this sitting on somewhere and then all of a sudden it pops off and such and also a lot of items they're already they have threaded holes in them and you know if you just have regular old holes you can you know try and measure it with that or whatever but it's kind of a extra pain when you have threaded holes or even if you have holes and they're trying to get a direct center to center hole on items to measure and like I said the little short like here on my welding table is no big deal but I had made some items like these out of aluminum years ago and uh, I just 3d printed some new ones because it's kind of handy is um, on here this one's already bolted down but as you can see um, these just thread into there there's actually a nut in there that's pressed in there and then this is put on the top and the way this is designed is for several different reasons and it's just what I seem to do a lot with the work what I'm doing on but other items I just have a normal machine bolt press through and if I want to I can uh, just switch them out make them longer if I want to the different one get the same thing it still works I can either thread them in or I can put them through and put a nut on if I have a hole that's not threaded. Uh, a lot of my items, if I'm setting up structures and I'm trying to put them through other structures, I'll actually thread a piece of uh, metal on there and weld it to my item or just put threaded holes on my items. And I'm dealing with other people's things that are already there and then I'm having to put my structures through them. Anyway, I even made a magnetic one that sits there. But out here I'll try and show you a little bit more about what it does. And so on this one I can just thread it on like that. It stops automatically. Um, this little screw back here, it's just a little added feature that if I want to, when I put my tape on there, and I know where my tape goes because it's the front there, and this side of the edge here is straight. This side is rounded off. It's kind of hard to see but you can look at my pictures and you can see that. So I always know if I go like this, it's perfectly dead center. And I can push this in there and it's pretty hard to get out of there like that. But if I want to, I can screw this down. There's a little hole there. Same on my 16 footer. And I have tons of these tape measures. It actually works on my other millimeter tape measure as well. Anyway, I can push it in there. I can lock that in place and I can climb through things and let this thing hang and whatever and it does not pop off until I want it to bring it off there and that's quite handy sometimes but let's just show you like I said this is a uh, really short on the table here so it doesn't really matter you can use a normal nut or you can go ahead and use one of these ones from my milling machine another feature with these is a lot of times I'm running strings through things I want to see where it's going to go and where my items are going to go. So I made these little notches in here so I could just put a string right in there. And if the uh, if the uh, item is crooked or whatever, when the string goes through here, it's exactly an inch the bottom of it off the bottom there. But then I can pull these strings like this, run them through like that or whatever. And turn them sideways if I want, run them down in there, screw that, whatever. So I can do crosses or items. It's kind of hard to explain until you see the type of work I do, but unfortunately I can't show that. So anyway, so that gives a little idea what you can do with the string. But anyway, you put your tape measure in there, and I can crawl through things and hang on things or whatever. And then when I line it up here, I can see this edge is rounded here. This is the edge here also. There's the point there. Then I can see that it's exactly 24 and three quarters inch, which I know that's what it is because I drilled those. So that's kind of how these things work. Nothing fancy, just kind of something that I've come up with to help with my work. And um, 
I have them for a quarter inch here, you know, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths. And like I said, you can drop in any size machine bolt screw. You can make these real thin, whatever you want to do. And these are just the items that I usually do when I'm holding stuff down on my welding table. So I have a ton of this, tons of this all thread. And you can tighten those down. So that just shows something that how these are used. And it's quite handy. I mean, I just can't explain how handy it is to be able to use these things and go out there and measure and put those on. And also I have the magnet one that I'm going to do some better ones that I'm going to actually have marks out here so that I can set these on different items if I don't already have a hole there and line items up with that. But I use these on flanges and everything and uh, it's very helpful. But anyway, since I'm 3D printing them, I can have so many more. And the project I'm working on now, um, I made about, I'd say, 14, maybe 16 of these. And uh, most of them were 3 8 And I still need more, so that's why I made more of these. But I just thought I'd show you the video. So, there you go.